welcome back to Apple Tree Allotment. Come down here at the weekend, at the end of September now. Um, so lots, lots going on, and we've got a couple of um, jobs to do today. I've brought down um, a few things. I've brought down some leaves. We raked these up in the garden, um, so I'm going to put them in the compost. Um, I also brought down some um, grass clippings. I'll show you that in a minute, but we put those round the potatoes. Um, and then another job we're going to do is use this area. So I'm going to cut back this um, weed fabric along this piece of wood here. Um, and we're going to use this space as the kids play area. So I'm going to put some bark chips down and I'm going to bring over the mud kitchen and just put it along the back there. Um, and that'll give them a place to play. And it also frees up the front of the other side of the allotment which means I can um, maybe put some more beds there. Um, we'll see later. Obviously it's covered in pumpkins at the moment. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, and then I've still got this other space we can do something with. I'm trying just to get this, uh, start using this side of the allotment without um, obviously spending a fortune. Um, if I can source some wood, that'd be brilliant. Um, if not, I'll get some stuff in. Uh, anyway, I was, trying i did go to frost's garden center this morning i was trying to get some onion sets and garlic um to go in now um and i was going to put it along the back here i was going to clear this space here um just because that'll be sort of the last bit i start actually building proper beds on so that can stay like that for quite a while um but unfortunately they haven't got any and they're not gonna have any um for at least till october um so I'm going to need to source them from somewhere else. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a look on the internet or something. Which is a shame because I was going to do that today. But um, yeah, I don't think last year we actually put them in till maybe middle of December. So there's not a huge rush. But I was going to try and get them in earlier this year just so we could um, just give them a little bit more time to get established. finished moving the mud kitchen and the kids toys so we've just I cut this material along the bit of wood just so it's separated um, and I can uncover this when I need to um, and we've put I think it was five barrel loads of um, wood chips down there and uh, moved the kitchen I'd forgotten how heavy that was um, but it's there now it does look really nice it looks looks a lot neater there and at least there's sort of the kids are over this side so they're a, safe to play over here and then next to the shed with all their toys and stuff that's one project done for today next job is to do some harvesting so we've got some more courgettes going on in here and in here and i think there's some green ones as well yeah there's a, a big green one down the bottom there we spent this morning cutting up a load of courgettes and we've done, um, we've put a lot in the freezer, but we've been doing a lot of dehydrating as well. So I've put, um, I think I've got three big mayonnaise type jars um, full of dried courgette now as well. So we'll have to experiment with that and see how well that um, works when we use it again. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of courgettes. They had a couple of weeks where they weren't really growing much and they seem to have had another little, little spurt. So yeah, I'll harvest them and show you what we get. I've just harvested these three smaller courgettes so they don't get too big. Um, I've left on, there's quite a few, it's probably about 10 that are smaller, which I guess will be ready next week. Um, I'm gonna leave them because we've got, we've still got about six or seven at home, fresh, as well as the ones we've preserved. I've picked the raspberries. There's a nice, nice sort of pun it's worth there. That's good. I picked some, I picked some last week, so over. They've come on a lot and there's quite a few that look like they've gone over in the week um so i probably need to pick them more often than that at this time of year um but yeah really pleased with those we eat a lot of these berries strawberries blueberries raspberries with our breakfasts with oats so, so they'll certainly get used 
quite a lot. We've harvested some more of our beans. So I think we got a bit of a mixture here of, there was three varieties we grew. There was a sort of green bean, this more yellow bean and the red um, ones. You can see the Bellotti beans over there, um, which I'm not sure if they're big enough yet. I'm going to check on that. But these look like a good size. So I picked those and there's a good, uh, there's easily a meal's worth there, if not two. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, and there's a few more sort of baby ones on the plants. So you never know, they might grow some more. Um, some little tiny ones in there. But they've done really well. I did notice the uh, one of the squash plants has grown up, up the uh, sweet corn. So uh, I might have to pull that down a bit before it gets too heavy. So other than watering, I think that's all the jobs we're going to do today. Lots of uh, lots of good things growing though. Um, the squash are doing really well. So you can now see where we moved the uh, the mud kitchen was here, this muddy gap here. Um, so hopefully the squash will have a bit more space to to grow into that now. Um, and when they're all gone, hopefully I'll be able to squeeze another two two beds in here at some point. Um, but yeah, the squash are doing really well. I've noticed this one has put on a lot of a lot of size this week. Um, there's lots of little baby ones around. Um, and our bigger ones down here. Yeah, so that one's doing well. It's starting to turn a bit more, more yellow. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get a good, really good crop of those. In the three sisters beds we've got so the sweet corn I think are all done now um, we've had all the big cobs off um, the the beans we've picked all the yellow green ones I can find um, might be a couple more um, come along I think um, but the pumpkins are still going strong and the squash um, so our big one is doing really well I've noticed a few people starting to harvest their pumpkins on the site um, and I think this is starting to get Sort of browned off on the top there um, so yeah I think this our big one is probably nearly ready um, yeah, it looks really good um, and then the other bed has got all the bolotti beans in it's a, I don't know if, any, if anyone knows how how big these are supposed to get they're starting to puff up a bit so they, they probably are nearly ready I would say um, so maybe leave them one more week and we'll harvest those um, the pumpkins, the smaller pumpkins are looking really good. Likewise, the little stem is starting to brown off, although the plant is still very green. Um, but yeah, I mean, we are getting towards October, so I guess that's about, about the right time. The potatoes are doing really well. Um, I have noticed, I think our cheeky little friend, the mouse, has been digging in the beds. I've noticed a couple of potatoes have been earthed up. So hopefully he's not taking too many out of my uh, potato beds. I'd like some for Christmas, um, but they are looking like they're doing well. Um, I did add all this grass clippings um, from home. So all four beds now have got, got clippings around them um, just to stop them going green on the tops and give them some protection. Um, Courgette still producing well, and we've got the, the sweet potato in here. Still, still really green, and uh, it hasn't really, I wouldn't say it's grown that much out here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the, the tag said, I've still got the tag in the um, ground here, and I think it says, uh, yeah, sort of September to harvest when, they, when it starts to die back. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it. Leave it till it starts dying back and see if there's anything under the ground. Um, over the next couple of rows, we've got uh, so we've got potato, more potatoes, courgettes. I showed you um, the chard. So we've got a bed of chard here, and they they look like they've grown a fair bit this week. Um, they're doing well this year, um, and I've got two beds, almost two full beds at home which are a little bit bigger, but these are catching up. Um, yeah, so that's, that's nice, a few winter green things to see. Um, this is our main crop that's still in the ground. 
I'm gonna pull these up soon because they're worried about them getting eaten or something. Um, yeah, our leeks. Our leeks have definitely done really well this week. Um, really impressed with them how much they've grown this time of the year. And likewise with our spring onions. Probably won't, I don't think it'll be too long before we start picking some of them. And then at the back here, our beetroot is growing on really well. Um, they look like they've sort of recovered from being transplanted. Look happy. Um, and the back half of here, I planted two rows of chard. Um, so we'll see if they come up. I can't really see anything yet. But yeah, we'll see. Um, then the last bed we've got is um, Monge two peas. So I'll pick a few more of these today. I picked a handful a minute ago, but I'll pick pick a few more. I've just noticed. Um, yeah, I'm glad I picked planted those. They were quite late in the season, um, but they've done really well. I wish I'd have planted a few more now, um, or s spread them out a bit more. Um, but yeah, next year I'll remember that, and next year plant them a bit earlier. I think if I've got the space. So that's all we're going to do down the allotment today. I think that's everything done. Um, it's all looking really good. I'm really pleased with how it's looking at this time of year, when a lot of bed, a lot of people's allotments are uh, closing up. You know, they're sort of covering up the soil. Um, starting to look a bit bedraggled. Some people's, but yeah, it's, it's still looking really good, productive. Um, I'm going to try and find some overwinter onions so I can get them in. Um, might have to resort to Amazon, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone knows a good place to get them from. I did look at a couple of seed companies, but the postage, if you're just buying one or two things, the postage is uh, quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm not, not sure where to get them, really. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll find... There's probably a local garden centre or something we can find rather than the chains it's probably got some uh, yeah so I hope you're all well and um, hope you enjoyed having a look around today and what's growing and I shall speak to you soon